Hello friends, welcome back. Now guys, in the last video, we discussed about Angular. Like we learned about what is Angular. Now in this video, we'll talk about Angular installation, right? So in this video, I will explain what all you need to have Angular up and running on your machine. All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. Now guys, you know about Node.js, right? So Node.js is the JavaScript runtime environment that we need to run Angular, right? So what we're going to do is the very first thing we'll go and install Node.js on our machine, right? So let me open the browser and let's go to the official website of Node.js. All right, guys. So this is the official website of Node.js node.js.org two versions of node.js available one is 14.18 which is the lts and this is the current version so let's go with lts let me download the exe now it's here i'll simply click on this one and click on run so guys we are going to install node.js which is the javascript runtime environment okay let's click on next accept click on next now, if you want, you can change the path, but I just want to keep the default one and click on next. But for now, I'll just keep unchecked as it is and click on install. All right, guys, it's done. Let's click on finish. So we have installed Node.js on our machine. Now the point is, how can you confirm? So let's go and open the command prompt. Right, and let's go and type node v is the command, and now here you can see the version 14.18.1. This is the version that we installed just now, right? Let's click on exit. Cool. Now, next thing, guys, I told you in the previous video that npm is the node package manager, it's a kind of utility or a tool that installed all the dependencies that your application needs, right? If you guys remember, I also told that we don't go and explicitly install npm it comes with node js setup right so how can you make sure that you have npm also you have npm installed on your machine so again we'll do same thing we'll go and open the command prompt let's go and type npm dash v is the command so you see you have got npm version 6.14.15 all right so you don't have to go and explicitly install npm. It comes with Node.js by default. All right, guys. Cool. Let's move. Now, guys, we are going to install Angular, right? So if you see, this is the command npm install dash g means we are going to install Angular globally, Angular slash CLI. But I'm not going to run this particular command. I'll show you how can you do it yourself. So let's go to the official website of Angular. Guys, angular.io is the official website of Angular, right? Let's go to get started and then let's go to uh, get started and set up. Okay. Now what it says, you need to install the Angular CLI. Okay. And this is the command. So guys, NPM is the node package manager. So we use this to install everything. Let's copy this command. Again, open the command prompt, paste the command here and click on enter. Now guys, here we are installing Angular CLI, which is the command line interface. So all your Angular commands will start with the keyword called ng. Done. We are good here. All right, guys. Now what it says that to create a workspace, if you want to create a project, this is the command that we need to run to create a project. Guys, we can simply go and run this particular command to create an Angular project. But before that, let's go and install the IDE that we need to have, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the official website of VS Code, VS Code. Right, guys, so this is the official website of, of Visual Studio Code, VS Code. Let's go and download the exe file for this one. It's here. Let's click on the exe file. So VS code is the IDE that you can use to write your Angular code. Right guys, so here we are installing IDE called VS code. All right guys, now here it says launch Visual Studio code. And let's go and create an Angular project. Right guys, as with the other programming languages, you need to have a workspace, right? So let's go and create a workspace where we want to have our project, right? So I'll go to C drive and I'll create a folder. Let's call it new folder. 
let's call it angular underscore space so this is my angular workspace you can call whatever you want for example if you want you can call it uh, like vs space visual studio code workspace right now guys what is the command to create the angular project it says ng so wherever you see ng it means we are talking about we are going it means we are going to run angular specific command right so ng is angular specific command new means we are going to create new and my app is our project name our application name right so i'll copy the command or i can type myself a terminal now i can type myself ng new and say for example my app is our application name right so basically if you see here this is my workspace in our workspace we are going to create a new project called my app okay let's click on all right guys before you go and run this particular command let's verify the angular version how can you confirm the angular version let's go and type ng ng space version is the command to make sure that you have angular cli installed now why do you need cli so that you can run angular specific commands okay so this is good now let's go and create the project ng new and my app is our application name or project name hit enter it says would you like to add angular routing let's click on yes we'll talk about what is angular routing in the coming videos but for now let's click on yes and just hit enter one more time to take the default css and everything okay now you see this guy is creating your project it is creating all the required file to support your angular project right it says installing packages so again it is using npm to install the packages all right guys now our project is ready so let's do one thing we are here in the workspace right? let's go to project cd and then my app is our project all right guys so our project is ready how can you make sure let's go to the workspace right and let's go to my app so you see here you have got your entire project structure right now now guys here in the command prompt i'm going to run a command say code space dot so this particular command will open your project in vs code okay let me hit enter it says trust sources yes yes now guys what do you see so this is your vs code right and here is your project called my app you have got all your files and everything so we'll talk about the entire uh, project structure in the coming video we'll talk about each single file here or what else you can do is you can go to file and you go and open a folder this way also you can open your project right guys now guys one more thing we were using the windows command terminal right to create our project and to open the project now right let me just exit out of this one right guys now here vs code has got its own terminal let's click on this one right now what you can do is you can run all your command here you can right so what i'm going to do is let's go back to the workspace if you see here i'm here at the workspace right now i'm going to create other project so ng new abc is my project that i want to create right so what i'm trying to say is you can run all your commands within the vs code itself vs code comes with a terminal you see here here also it is installing all the packages that you need all right guys so our project is ready now as i told you what you can do is you can go to your project and then you can type this command code space dot to open your project in vs code right but this time i'll show you another way what you can do is you can go to file let's go to open folder let's go to abc is our project right let's select this particular project and then boom right so this is your project abc so app module dot ts is the main file that starts your project okay now guys so we are okay that we have got our project ready but how will you run your project right so let's do that what you can do is you can go to the official portal of uh, of angular dot io and you can see the command here it says run the application how can you run you need to go to your application and then run this command ng serve dash dash open right so when you give this particular command so it will automatically open your application in the browser so i just want to start our application so the command is ng serve hit enter so this particular command will build your application it will deploy your application on the server right and then you can go to the browser and you can access your application so guys 
here you can see build completed right and here you see there's a url to access your application you can copy this url or you can do control and then click on this one right all right so what i will do i'll copy this url control c let's go to the browser here and let's go and put this particular link here so localhost 4200 is the default port and here is your application called abc app is running right guys so this is how you can go and access your application right all right guys now let's do one thing Control c cancel now what i want to do is let's understand the another command called ng sir dash dash open right so here like you need to go and click on this particular link to open the application or you can simply copy paste this url but if you use this option called dash dash open let's see what happens so ng serve command it will go and again again it will generate the build file it will deploy your application on the server and it will start your application on port number 4200 right but let's see what happens when you use the option called dash dash open All right, guys. Now here you can see it opens your application in the browser. This is the default page that comes by default with your Angular project. Now, if you want to see where is the content, where is the HTML content, so you need to go to appcomponent.html. Right. So this is the UI that you see on the browser. All right, guys. So guys, we have installed VS Code as well. All right, guys. Now here we'll talk about one of the very common error messages that we see. So if you try this particular command ng dash dash version and sometimes you see this error message ng is not recognized as an internal or external command. It means your angular is not configured properly, right? So to fix this particular program like for for now if I go and run our command ng dash dash version I don't see any problem. It's working perfectly fine, right? But in case in case if you see this error message where it says ng is not recognized as an internal or external command there is a problem with the environment variables you need to set some properties in the path right so let me show you something i'll go to the env edit system environment variables environment variables let's go to the path so here you see that i have two paths app data roaming npm and uh, app data local programming vs code bin right so basically you need to go and set up these two path these two path in your environment variables if you have these two path set in your environment variables you will not see the error all right so you need to go to the c drive let's go to c drive and then let's go to users you need to go and select your default user so guys app data is a hidden folder right so you need to go to the view go to options and click on view and show hidden files so that you can see this particular folder called app data right let's go here go to roaming and here is your npm right so you need to set up this particular path this is the one location that you need to set in your path and second is going to be node modules and you need to go to add that angular and cli and bin this one so these are the two locations that you need to set in your path in case if you have the problem right so path is your environment variable one value is this one and second is npm these two these two you need to set up in your environment variables in case if you have this particular error where it says ng is not recognized as an internal or external command clear in case of any issues just let me know in the comment section i'll help you guys all right guys so here we are done with the setup or installation of angular now you can go to vs code you can create angular project you can try to build like so you run the command ng serve and play with the application right next video we'll talk about the angular project structure all right thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel